guys, welcome back to the Essex Fashion House channel. Today I'm gonna to do a little video on all of my uh, Coach 1941 clutches or wallets, whatever you wanna call them. Ever since I posted a picture on my Essex Fashion House Instagram, I've had several people message me saying, ooh, I wanna see a video of all of these. And I thought that's actually a great idea. So I hope you'll like this video. Uh, let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. This is the first one in the collection. This is one of the plain smooth leather ones in a beautiful burgundy red color. This one has dark hardware, so this is a little bit worn. It has been used a bit. I think that this used to be dark gunmetal. Not quite sure. As you can see, the color is stunning. I really like these burgundies. This one has contrast stitching, which is actually like a very subtle pink, but you don't really notice that so much. And then on the back of the hang tag, you've got this bright red color, which I think looks amazing. And of course, on the back, you'll have the little coach embossed there and you have the slip pocket. And inside the slip pocket, you've got the red leather lining as well. And inside of it, it's also red. I love that. I love when you open it up and you've got that bright pop of color. It'll read genuine glove tan leather. You have these little things where you can attach a chain so that you can carry it as a crossbody bag. And inside you've got the little card slots and you've got the creep patch in there as well. So that is the first one. And number two is one just like it. Again, smooth glove tanned leather. Nothing uh, really added, it's just one color. This one is the color uh, Kelly Green, which I think is such a beautiful color. It's just this bright green that you don't really see that often. Not just on coach, but anywhere. I feel like it's very rare that you see um, bags and purses in this beautiful vibrant green color. Um, and this one has black copper hardware. The back of the hang tag is, I think this is light saddle, and it of course matches the lining inside, which is which is also that light saddle color, and uh, in all the pockets as well. And of course, they're all the same. I'm not going to go through all of the details about everyone, all of them, because they're pretty much all the same. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful green color. Uh, again, on the back, it has a slip pocket, of course, which also has the light saddle colored lining, and that is clutch number two. Now, clutch number three, now we're getting into something that's a little bit more special, has a little bit more stuff going on. So this is, of course, the T-Rose um, 1941 clutch. I really love the T-Rose ones. I think it just looks really cute with these flowers and it's done in such a nice way where I love how um, they have the same colored one. So this one is Beechwood and it's this beautiful nude beigey color that just goes with everything. And they've made some of the tea roses uh, the same color in beechwood, and they did some in chalk and some in this kind of light saddle color. And I love how the hardware, all the hardware on this is gunmetal, but the little hardware in the tea roses is all different. So if you look closely, you'll see that some are gunmetal, some are actually like a glittery metallic, um, kind of a bronze color, and you've got some that are like the light gunmetal or like the nickel colored ones and they all say coach on them and as you can see some of the tea roses are like double uh double leather which you see there which just creates a little bit more texture and uh makes them pop out even more and i love how you've got these little rivets inside some of the tea roses as well it's just such great little details it's stuff like that i didn't i wouldn't even have noticed it if it wasn't for me making this video because it's rare that you look up close like look at all the details up close like this um and as you can see in here as well you've got right there there's a little leaf that has the stitching on it there's another one over here and it's just all these little details that i think nine out of ten people will never even notice because they won't be looking closely at it but the ones who do will see them and it's just great to know that there's been so much attention paid to the details. And I love how the tea roses go all the way across the top of it, all the way across the flap. And then on the back, they just kind of dip into this back pocket, giving like the illusion of them going all the way in there, which I think is lovely. And um, as you can see, you've got some that are like two-toned here that has little uh, different colored streaks in them, which also just gives it more texture and a very interesting look. And you can also see that in here, it has little flowers that are um, like embossed in the leather. And there's a little rivet there, for example, just so many great little details. So yeah, this is the color Beechwood. And the hang tag 
is chalk on the back so it matches some of the flowers. This is just such a beautiful combination. I really love this one. And especially for if you want a wallet or a clutch or a purse that's that's like neutral but not boring. Because um, this one will go with everything. So, and this one is brand new so it still has a little bit of the packaging in here. The inside has this gorgeous burgundy lining. Of course, also the smooth leather. I love that. Just, again, it goes so well with the beechwood. It's just a great combination. And, of course, the same in here. And I like, too, how the fabric around the zipper here is kind of like chalk color as well. So it just goes, the theme goes all the way through this. So, right, that's number three. And clutch number four is another T-Rose one. This one, I think, is beautiful as well. Uh, so this is, of course, a black one. But this one has the black and I think it's called the like the plum color some kind of deep purple um, it almost looks like ox blood but I think it's more like a purple and again I love how subtle the color differences are like these are so dark that they that like they're so close to being as dark as the black ones and I think that is a beautiful way of doing it too and again all of the rivets are different colored hardware so some are brass just like the main hardware on the wallet i always love brass and black together it looks beautiful and some are black copper you've got one there and some are again this um kind of glittery metallic one this is almost like a burgundy metallic and again you've got all the little rivets on the on some of the roses here this one also has beautiful contrast stitching uh, as you see in a lot of the Coach 1941 items, you've got black leather and you've got this kind of yellow orangey stitch. And I know a lot of people don't like the contrast stitching, but I love it. And I think this combination looks so pretty. And on the back of this hang tag, it's just black. So it's just an all black. <laughs> and again, of course, the roses go all the way across the top and kind of goes a little bit dips into this back pocket. And you've got all the little details on this as well. And um, and on the inside, this one is also this is like this is also a burgundy. I'm not sure. This actually looks kind of like ox blood. Um, I think it comes up a little bit more reddish or lighter on the camera than it is in real life. Um, but it's definitely like a burgundy. And again, you've got the same pockets. Of course, they're all the same. But again, a beautiful, beautiful wallet. And this is another one where I feel like you could carry this as an everyday purse, but. It's also pretty enough that it could be something for a special occasion. It's a beautiful little bag. And clutch number five is another tea rose one. In case you haven't noticed, I really like the tea roses. I think it's it's just such a great design. So this one is a little bit more special though. So first of all, uh, this is the color steel blue, which I love. I think that is a beautiful blue color. Um, it's like a cool tone blue. And then the hardware is nickel, which is kind of rare to see like you don't see a whole lot of coach bags that have the, this color hardware um, and again it just gives it that cooler look to it and then if you look closer these uh, tea roses some of them have actually have glitter in them so these are like rubber almost and they've got glitter in the yellow and the blue here As you can see this still has uh, little foam thingies all the way around every single tea rose because it's brand new has never been used the Hang tag on this one is this beautiful darker blue on the back that matches some of these tea roses. You've got uh, this blue here, which I think is beautiful. Then you've got the kind of a dark yellow. This one's like an orange. And you've got this yellow that's in the, uh, the rubber version. And then you even have little rubbery glitter edges around some of the normal ones. And it's just, it really just puts it all together. It goes so well together. And again, like with the other ones, you've got the different colored hardware inside of the, on the rivets inside the flowers. So you've got the brass, you've got the blue glittery metallic. And look at this tea rose, it's super special. This has like cutouts in it. You don't see that very often. So this is just a really special wallet where there's just so many little details that make it stand out from the rest. Yet, of course, it is just a, you know, classic coach tea rose item. I love when you can do that. So. Um, again, these go all the way over the top and into the pocket there. And if we open this up, this one also has this burgundy uh, lining, which I think is beautiful with the blue, especially because it also has the edges are the same color as this lining, and I think that looks really, really pretty together. 
I like a good contrast edge as well. And the stitching on this is this very light uh, colored thread. I don't know if it's white or if it's like a light blue. It looks kind of like a light blue, but it might just be because it's next to all the blue. But it is, it's beautiful. And wallet number six is another quite special one. You don't see a lot of these either. So this one is the color Melon. And this one has genuine snakeskin on it. So you get this color block effect uh, by having this be all smooth leather and this be snakeskin. And the snakeskin looks and feels amazing. Plus the color of it is just matched the, on the leather so nicely. Like it's it looks amazing. And it's got the black copper. It's got the black copper hardware. And I think that really just gives it back an extra edge. It looks so good when you match this with like a black outfit or other black accessories. I like to carry like something like this. I'd carry it and have like black leather bracelets or something like that. It just looks so good together. And um, this is just smooth on the back as well. Even the back of the hang tag has snakeskin on it. I think that is the greatest little detail. I love when they do these hang tags with uh, like something on the back that's to match something else in the bag. And uh, it's just beautiful. And the inside is also this burgundy colored lining that's pretty much it so and this one also has um, the stitching is this light color it's almost like a pink I think I mean is it white or is it pink I'm not sure but it looks very pretty and last but not least clutch number seven is this one so this one is probably my all-time favorite I love pretty much anything coach does that has border rivets on it it's just one of my favorite coach features I love that they made that their thing and so this is black smooth leather with brass hardware brass rivets the hang tag is light saddle on the back and so is the lining inside, which I think looks great. That's just such a great combination. I mean, of course, anything goes with black, but yeah, I love the way these go with each other. And um, again, like the rivets are just such a, a subtle, subtle detail, yet it really makes it pop and stand out and just gives it a whole different look. And I love how you even have them going along the uh, edge of this pocket on the back. So that is the last one. That's it guys, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want one of these clutches to be yours, they are all for sale in my Essex Fashion House shop on the website. I will leave the links for all of them in the description of this video so you can find them. And don't forget, if you wanna stay updated on the bags that are available in the shop, because there's always new stuff coming in, you can either sign up for the newsletter on the website. If you go all the way to the bottom, there should be a little sign up box. Or you can go follow the Essex Fashion House Instagram and check out the available now highlights where I add every single bag that I add to the store as well. The great thing is that if you follow on Instagram, you can actually click the product tags and it will take you straight to the product on the website. So you don't even have to go look for it afterwards. So that's it guys. Don't forget to tell me in the comments which one of these you like the best and which ones you have in your collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you soon.